Hello everyone, welcome to my live stream. Today I'm going to do my September Art Snacks unboxing and challenge. I got my Art Snacks box a few days ago, I think on Saturday. And so I decided that I would live stream it. I haven't even opened this tape yet. I want it to be a complete surprise for me and for you. So, I'm going to open this now. See what I got in my box for this month. Ooh! Looks like some good stuff. Ooh, let's see. This is what caught my attention first is zebra on the side. She, ma, um, ma. That means zebra, I think. Um. Super fine tip brush pen. Yay! I love the freaking Japanese brush pens. Zebra Vensations. Black. Super fine. Ooh, super fine. I don't know if I've got one like that. I have tons of these Japanese brush pens thanks to Art Snacks. I don't know if I have a super fine one. If this is a real. If this is true to size, then that is super tiny. Whether you are doing traditional lettering, illustrations, or manga. That's not a complete sentence. <laughs> Zebra brush pens are the tool for you, offering deep, rich black color and varying lines, widths. Ooh, I don't think English is their first language. <laughs> Depending on applied pressure. That makes sense. It's probably. Let's see, Zebra Com, Zebra Canada. Made in Japan, packaged in Mexico, and sold from New Jersey. Zebra Pen Corp, Edison, New Jersey. Okay. Permanent pigment ink is acid-free and archival quality for lasting impressions. Water resistant. Cap snaps tight to maintain pen freshness and life. Available in super fine, fine, and medium points, and double-ended. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the eh? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Three different ones. I mean, they're the same, but it's super fine, fine and medium. Yay! has a different thing on the cap, so I wonder if this is Japanese for super fine and fine, etc. This is middle, and that's his letter, I think. So medium, yeah, that would make sense. I have no idea what that says. And this one's totally different. Oh, but this is the same as this one. They gave me stuff with Japanese and kanji on it again, so I'm like, I like to look at it. <laughs> I like to try to read it and practice. Okay, do they all say the same stuff on the back? Yeah. It's all the same on the back, except for the product number. Cool! So they have, this is really cool. So even if you can't read Japanese, it doesn't matter because the super fine is a blue body, the fine is a gray body, and the medium is a black body. So you can still tell the difference just based on the color. That's awesome! Well, there's the first thing. <gasps> what else? There's this little green thing out. I'll wait and take all these individual. Mmm. Extra sour crybaby bubble gum. Here's my actual snack. I want to chew it, but that's not good for a stream. Ah, <laughs> uh, I thought so. I saw Art Snacks use this this version of the pencil logo in a recent post, and I was like, I wonder if that's a sticker we're going to be getting. Yep. It has like a composition notebook design on it. I'm going to add that to my uh, pencil shavings tin. Here's the menu, but I like to save it for last. 
Yay! Artist watercolor, Ozzo Orange. M. Graham and Company. White Fastness 2. Orange. Huh, interesting. So we've got three black brush pens and an orange tube of watercolor. So that's everything out of this box. Ow. Let's see. Hold on. Looks like there's something wrong with my stream. Let me refresh and see if it's just me. Because it's a green on my OBS over there. Yeah. Twitch isn't loading very well at all. It's not loading anything from the site. I wonder if Twitch is having a problem. Oh, that's annoying. Well, that's why I always record separately from the stream so that if I have problems. I feel like nothing is loading on Twitch. Then you can go on YouTube and watch this. I mean, you're probably only hearing me if you're on YouTube already watching it. But yeah, that's why I... It's doing a little bit better this time. I refreshed it again. The whole site's not very happy though. It's not loading my sidebar stuff. Oh, Nande! Let me try another site and just see. Facebook load? Yeah, Facebook loads fine and fast. Eh? Hmm, you know, it's having a struggle. Oh, it's loading more stuff this time. Okay, I'm going to continue looking at my stuff while that. I just need to give it a second. So what's this? Hey, Albrecht Durer. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I love that guy. He makes, he made a long time ago. He made super cool, oh, that's his little symbol that he always did on his prints. He made the coolest, like, prints, uh, like, proper printing press type prints. I don't remember what he used, probably not a printing press, but he made super cool, it was like line art, but it was, you know, it was a print. He probably did line art. Oh, I need to learn more about him. What is it? Schwarz. Schwarz means black, but I can also read that right there, black. <laughs> Black 199, star, 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 asterisk, times three, Faber, Castell. Oh, it's got a little brush symbol on here, so I wonder if this is a, either a watercolor pencil. Albrecht Dürer Magnus, Germany, that makes sense. It's got this little brush symbol, so it's almost... I bet it's a watercolor pencil. Goes perfectly. What the heck? Oh! What the heck? This is my Halloween box. It's a little early. September. Let me. Look! Black, 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 orange. Black. Oh, this is orange too. A more yellow orange. This is black. Okay, this is the brush, obviously. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's like they knew I needed another little teeny tiny brush because the old one that I've been using is really showing wear. I don't know if you can even tell. This is just so tiny. Yay, I'm so happy. It's a zero. Round, round. That's my favorite type of brush shape. Size zero. Oh, it's not as small as the one that I need to replace. The one I need to replace is size that triple zero, but... I've noticed that 
based on the brand, the size can be slightly different, even if it bears the same number. That's awesome! Yay! Alright. This is the menu. Let me refresh my Twitch again. See if I can figure out why this isn't showing up for people on Twitch. Okay, it says I'm live. <gasps> Yay! So it must have started working. Just needed a refresh for it to start working for me, I suppose. That's good. Okay, I'm going to continue then. Okay, first, the joke. There's always a joke, a riddle, or pun. Who's a rabbit's favorite artist? Edward Hopper. Because eh, it's Hopper. <laughs> hmm. It's always shaking my head. These jokes. Okay, okay. Okay, the first thing on the menu is this watercolor. M. Graham and Company Artist Watercolor. I'm pretty sure I've gotten this before, just a different color. M. Graham and Company Artists Watercolor definitely hits the sweet spot. Not only is this paint made using honey to keep moisture, oh, the sweet spot, because it's honey, to keep moisture intact in the tube and on the palette, it also contains high amounts of pigment to provide intensely bright and rich color. It always dilutes easily with water, even after months or years of disuse. That's good for me, because I always jump around from thing to thing, so it's always disappointing when I finally come back to something, and it's all dry and sad. <laughs> and it was only used once if it was used at all. Sweet. It doesn't mention a color on the menu, so this is probably... I just happened to get the perfect Halloween color. I wonder if I also happen to get the perfect... Well, we'll see. So it also says a retail price is $15.29, so 15 bucks for this. And that doesn't surprise me. That sounds about right for a tube this size of good quality artists. Artists rather than student grade watercolor. Though I always think it's a shame when they have student grade because when I was learning more art, what is this little black stuff on my table? Using the artist grade stuff can make you think that you don't like a medium because it's like crappy and hard to work with. <laughs> and then if you use it and you use more high quality like professional grade version of the same medium and they're like, oh, it's so good. So like say you're using a Crayola colored pencils and then you use some really good brand like I use um, Prismacolor, it's, the difference is stark. So, I don't like that there is a such thing as student grade or whatever. Not that that has to do with this, because this is artist grade. When it usually, usually when it says artist's watercolor like this, it means you're getting the more, uh, you're getting the better version of watercolor. And you'll enjoy using it more. Okay, next. Zebra Zensations brush pens. Retail two fifty each. So that's uh, six seven fifty. Seven fifty worth of brush pens. Okay. New to art snacks, it says. From super fine lines to big bold strokes. Zebra Zensations. Yeah, it's like Zen, like Zen Buddhism, plus sensations, so it's Zen sensations. Okay, just so you know, I'm not like weirdly pronouncing sensations or something. No, it's Z with a Z with a Z. Brush pens offer incredible versatility. Achieve diverse lettering or illustration styles with three different pens included in this month's box. Super fine tip, blue body. Yep, yep. Fine tip, gray body, and medium tip, black body. Cool, so everybody 
who got this box got one each of these pens. They feature permanent water resistant pigment ink that delivers deep and rich black color. Water resistant, that's a good pairing for these things because these are watercolor items. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a watercolor pencil. So this won't bleed if you watercolor over it. Hopefully, hopefully that's what that means. The flexible brush nibs have excellent bounce and deliver consistent ink flow, responding to changes in pressure with ease. And here they have a little set of illustrations showing the different sizes, pen, nib, tip. Next, Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush. Retail, $7. Oh, they didn't mention the size, so maybe I just happened to get the size that I've been wanting. Art Snacks Exclusive. Fill in the details with this Princeton Synthetic Sable Round Brush. The, the color holding capacity and natural snap of this brush is enhanced by its perfect blend of golden taclon in multiple diameters. Made to be used with watercolor, this brush will work flawlessly with your new M. Graham and Company paint. This month we've included a smaller size in your box suitable for fine details and delicate lines. Well, it does say we've included a smaller size, so maybe everybody did get the same size. If you got this box, let me know. Let me know what size you got. Did you get zero? Because that's what I got. I would like to know how many varieties of stuff got sent out. It's just interesting. <laughs> okay, finally, this thing. Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer Magnus Watercolor Pencil. Bam, I knew it. I knew it because it's a little symbol. Okay, staff favorite. Wow, this is such a big... I didn't remark upon it but until now, but this is a... This is such a big pencil. This is huge. Okay. The Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer Magnus watercolor pencil, such a long name, is a pretty big deal. Yep, it's freaking big. With a 5.3 millimeter core, it's ideal for large scale drawing. The jumbo size is gentle on the wrist, so you can use it for long periods of time without discomfort. This 100% water soluble pencil remains extremely vibrant, dry or wet, thanks to its high pigment density and maximum light fastness. When brushed with water, the pencil marks melt onto your paper and intensify in color. Sweet. So it doesn't say anything about color for this one. So maybe I just happened to get the perfect black and orange Halloween combo. Yeah, usually with colored pencils of any type, they send out multiple options in all the different boxes that goes to everybody. <laughs> perfect Halloween. And then the rest of this talks about the Art Snacks Challenge, which is what I'm going to do. But I need a piece of paper. It didn't come with paper this month, which is fine. But I can't do my challenge without some paper. So I think I have some watercolor paper from a previous Art Snacks box. So let me go look for that real quick. Here we go. This is the one I was hoping I had. This nice, super thick, like 300 pound watercolor paper. So you can get it almost, you can almost get it as wet as you want and it won't buckle or get wavy. Um, I'm also going to have to get some water and a paper towel in order to do watercolor type stuff. Well, let me open these first. Uh, network error again for my stream. 
I just updated OBS. I hope it didn't like reset my settings or something like that. Because I had the settings figured out and it was doing really good for a while, so I'm not sure why it's... Oh, I can see my stream again. Yay! Something went wrong for a little while. <laughs> so it says zero viewers, even though I'm viewing it. <laughs> Usually at least says one. Maybe they changed it so it doesn't count you if you're watching your own channel. I want my sketchbook too so I can just try these out before I make my actual challenge piece. Oh, there it goes. Now it says I'm watching. One viewer. Yay! I have more people right now watching on YouTube after the fact. I think it's more convenient because not everybody can show up at the same time that I'm able to do some art. Okay, let's see. Mm, I really want to chew this. It only lasts like 10 minutes, you know. It starts getting really hard and hurts your jaw, but I still love that first sour crunch into this hard gumball. Okay. What did I need still? Um, 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 um. Sketchbook, water, paper towel. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to step out of the room for a second and get some water. Okay, I'm back. Got my thing for a water. Nice paper towel, wipe my brush on. I love this bowl. I found this at the thrift store. I was looking for something just like it. So it's nice. Nice and big, but also low so that I can get my brush in there easily and it's also clear so I can see how dirty the water is getting. Let's see if I need to change it. It's really nice. The only problem is I keep letting my water dry in it and then it gets like the the paint pigments and the hard water and now there's all these rings in it. I need to let some vinegar soak in there. Okay, what else? Sketchbook! I'll use this little tiny art snacks sample book that I got in a previous box. Oh, my glasses. Put my glasses back on. What I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'll look at this picture. Okay. Just wanna try out these pens. So here's the blue bodied one. I'm sure you can't see it, I'm sure the camera's not capturing it, but it's also really sparkly, like shimmery, like really fine glitter, I really like it, it's pretty. Okay, let's see. Oh, my 
thumb still hurts. You probably also can't tell that, but my thumb is still swollen. And it's super bruised right here. The cut is finally healed enough that I don't think I need a band-aid on. But the whole thing is sore and the top is numb. Where it's all swollen if I touch it. It's all tingly. feels tingly if I touch the top. Because I slammed my thumb in my car door last week. Ah. So sometimes if I hit it the wrong way, if I just touch it on something the wrong way, it hurts. Okay. Super fine. Ooh, if you use it straight up and down, you can get super tiny. You can see the difference? Almost looks like these are so small you can't even see these. Almost got so tiny if you use it straight up and down. <laughs> if you use it sideways, boom, you can get really bigger ones. That's cool. Okay. Next, the gray body just fine not super fine no book stay open let's try you out whoa Ooh. okay how do you do straight up and down boop, boop, boop. you can get some pretty tiny lines out of this too let me do fun i kind of want to do that with this one this one seems a little drier. Yeah, it's drier than... I don't know if I just got a bad one or if that's just how the super fine tip works, but... The ink is not coming out. Oh, my thumb is also itchy. Ugh. It's because this cut was so deep, I think it's like... I don't want to itch inside of the cut. <laughs> no, I can't do that. Whoa, this looks huge. They call this medium. Wow. It makes me want to get the large one just so I can see how much bigger it is. Okay. This is my normal like if I was just going to write with it. Straight up and down. Still can get some pretty small lines. Okay, what about like this? Hmm. Yeah, the tip is nice. And you can really tell on this big one. The tip is nice and... If I was better at kanji calligraphy, let me try writing sun. Boop. 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 Eh, not terrible, but still looks like a first grader wrote it. <laughs> okay, cool. Now I know what these are capable of. This middle one's definitely the juiciest of the three I got. Cause see this one was a squiggle line. Didn't even get any of this like like this one where it oh that looks like more like a brush, so maybe that's for the best. I love this. I love this. I love it's like huge and then tiny. Huge and tiny. Okay, tested that. Get this out of the way. Ah, I keep getting ink or something on my table. No. Ah, you know what? I need something to put this in. I need a palette. Here we go. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? So I've got three sizes of pen. Whoops, where are you going? Three sizes of pen. All black though. Black this. So actually maybe it's not that great that I got black for this because these are already black. Uh, so it's just all black stuff. So how am I gonna tell the difference? Eh. Well, I guess if I sort of like spread it out, it becomes more gray or something. Okay, I was supposed to 
this orange in here. Ow. Woo! It's going everywhere. I'm going to wipe this with the paper towel. If I don't, it'll dry on there. Make a mess later. Crumble away. Leave a bunch of watercolor dust in my drawer. Wipe this too. Or it flopped onto the side. Hopefully, it won't dry and make this impossible to open. There. Oh, I have this tiny brush. It actually kind of sucks having this tiny brush to do the art snacks challenge with. But I want the tiny brush in general. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should I do? I could just draw some pumpkins. What could I do? What could I do? Orange and black is what I have. And the sort of creamy white color of the paper. What size is this paper? Doesn't really matter. I'm just interested because they often send this size four by six. Just about. Okay. Four by six. I get it. Hmm, what should I do? Pumpkins seem so obvious. Pumpkins. Ah, what the heck? I don't have too much time, so let's do pumpkin. Let's do a jack o' lantern. I'm gonna do like a scary face. <laughs> I'm an evil pumpkin. I'm an evil pumpkin face. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. <laughs> Okay. It's an evil, scary pumpkin. It has sharp teeth. Sharp pumpkin teeth. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's so scary. It's so sharp. It's the sharpest pumpkin ever. Sharpest pumpkin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does it need a news? I don't know. I don't know if it needs news. But I'm gonna draw some inside part where the eyes were actually carved out. Doop. Boop. So, if I'm looking down, I should see this as well. It's kind of small. What's that pumpkin might be? <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like this size. This size of pumpkin. Not this size of pumpkin. Not this size of pumpkin. Hmm. Thinking about whether I should draw some pumpkin leaves, but I don't know what the heck. Let's do it. I mean, I don't know how accurate these are going to be. I referenced them once for an illustration, a Halloween card illustration. But I don't exactly remember what they look like. There we go. 
Pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. Boom. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Okay, so I'm going to do a nice thick outline for this one. Love doing different line weights, just as satisfying. Okay, that medium here. Use medium for these outlines, maybe? Ooh, makes it look so angry. Makes this look like eyebrows. Ooh, angry pumpkin. Angry evil pumpkin. <laughs> Probably laughing because I'm inspired by the Sleepy Hollow Disney cartoon. Everybody thinks of that when they think of Sleepy Hollow. Maybe not everybody, but... When I read the original Sleepy Hollow story, like the written book story, I was like, wow, even that like Johnny Depp, Tim Burton Sleepy Hollow takes a lot from that Disney cartoon. So many iconic things are associated with Sleepy Hollow, and it all comes from that Disney cartoon, not from the original story. Ooh! I'm going to use this fine one again. Let's do some holes. Show the inside. Give it a sense of being hollow and round. Looking good, looking good. Okay, let's do this medium one again. What kind of stem should it have? So I'll give it a really sharp, like, torn up one. Those kind that you always freaking cut yourself on when you're picking your pumpkin from the store. These pins are so cool. I love brush pens. I love inking with brush pens. <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. Now, I guess I'll give this leaf a little more life. Give the leaf some life. Should it just be a single scary jack-o'-lantern among a field of like normal pumpkins? I don't have too much time to work on this. In fact, I only have like 20 minutes left. I might have to go a little long. Whoa! Stay there now. No, I actually want you. And draw a little curly Q thingy. regular pumpkins. Sort of like the background. And I'm like on the
pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Just trying to get some lines to show that the ground exists. And another pumpkin. Yeah, I'm really not sure how pumpkin leaves work. I used to know. I forgot. I don't see real pumpkin leaves very often. Put a little leaf in the corner. Add something over there. Add some interest over there. Now this one's scary because its thing is cut off. And this chopped off so it's like a zombie pumpkin. And it's more scary to the other pumpkins. Pumpkin! 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 Man, I don't even use this huge one. Wait, did I? I did, I did, I did, I did. I used it for this. I'm just going to use this medium one to make these more interesting. Go farther in the back. I won't make it quite as thick of lines. Just want to make it. I'm just adding stuff because it's interesting looking. <laughs> just playing around now. Play with the pumpkins. Play with the pumpkins. Squar! I'm an evil scary pumpkin. Evil scary pumpkin. Wee. Wee. Hmm. 
There's some hatching. I always think hatching makes stuff more interesting. Also helps give shape. Ooh, that's really nice. That is really nice for this pumpkin. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice and scary and awesome. Scary and awesome. Hmm, looks good. Is that playing with this huge one down here? I think I need more huge ink in the front to really show that this is like as close as you're getting. As close as you're getting to this scary pumpkin. Doing a lot of ink around here is also good because it's bringing attention to this pumpkin that I want to be the main focus. It's actually a good thing. Get lots of ink in around here. Okay, I think that's good. Hopefully this is waterproof like it, it said water resistant, so we'll see. We will see how this works. I'm going to start with this watercolor pencil. Now my favorite watercolor pencils are the Durvent or Durwent ink tents. So we'll see how this compares. Because it being so big a pencil, it's good for filling in large areas quickly. Though I tend to work in small details anyway, so it's not usually a big problem for me. Needing to fill in a lot of space. Just gonna make the sky like black. Like black. Make it like black. <laughs> Usually with watercolor pencils, wherever you put down a mark, you're still gonna be able to see it. I just wanna be conscious of where I'm putting this pigment. Glad my stream seems to be keeping up. 
I don't know what happened earlier. I have no more network errors though. This looks cool by itself. But the point is, oh, using this tiny brush for this. Should I make myself do it or should I just get a bigger brush? I'm going to get a bigger brush. This is just ridiculous. There's no reason to spend a bunch of time on that when it's not like you're going to be able to tell in the end that I use a freaking tiny brush to fill that in. I'm going to get a normal size brush. get a another previous art snacks brush so it's not like I'm totally cheating oh it's Princeton brand still too yeah it's just too ridiculous filling in this whole area with water you see teeny tiny thing I'm going to start from the bottom, from the lightest area, and work my way up. In fact, these pumpkins are so far in the background, I'm going to bring it on to them, too. These ones are way in the background. Oh my. I've got to work way faster than usual. You see a line everywhere I stop. I want it to be even. Gosh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep it wet, keep the paper wet. Oh, man, I think I should have gotten a bigger brush. Dang. These do seem to be decent watercolor pencils, though. Look at that nice, rich black. It looks good. Let's bring it down into this like dirt area, too. Make the whole thing kind of dark and scary. Dark and scary. Dark and scary. It's pretty good. Now, let's put some orange on this pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Oh goodness, let me thin this out a little bit. Maybe I should have gotten this wet first. Oops, too late now. Can't do anything about that now. 
just work with it. Oh yeah, I love this orange wax. Such a perfect Halloween orange. Perfect pumpkin orange. Uh, something that amuses me. So there's people who advocate putting the Christ back in Christmas. I was like, nobody advocates for Halloween, even though it was originally a Christian um, conversion holiday as well. To convert the non-Christians in England and surrounding areas. Why not Halloween? So then I was like, what would the Halloween phrase be? And I was like, put the hallow back in Halloween. Because hallow means it's like a holy thing, like a... Yeah, it's just, it's just another word for a holy. Put the hallow back in Halloween. I don't think we need that though. I celebrate the, what do you call it? I can't think of the word. Secular. I celebrate secular Halloween and Christmas. So I don't need the Halloween. I don't need it to be a Halloween Reformation for me. <laughs> No one fights for Halloween. All Hallows Eve. That's what it originally stood for. I mean, it probably still stands for that. Nobody thinks about that though. There, look at that. I like it. It's so pretty. This pumpkin is just so beautiful. And this black ink is really holding up quite well under the water. I don't see it smudging or straying anywhere. I'm adding some more to try to get the idea of shadows just by adding more darker orange color. Paint orange inside the mouth and stuff too. I don't know how else to make it look different. Ah, need a little more water. Goodness, what was that? Oh, the plastic thing that my ink pens came in popped. Return to its original shape. Mm -hmm. Should have kept that white. Too late. I should have kept the part where it was the cut part of the pumpkin. Should have kept that white, that one looked good, but since I already didn't keep it in elsewhere, now I'm going to make it the same. That's more important. Putting the hallow back in Halloween. Horror movie fans can say putting the hell back in Halloween. <laughs>
a little darker, a little darker theme there. Man, that looks so good. This orange is beautiful. This is a beautiful orange color. I think I should do a tiny little bit of orange on this stem because the stem is going to be kind of brown, like dried up. So a really thin, thin, thin layer of orange will work as a an indication of a dry brown stem. I don't have any green though. No green for hmm. These lines actually kind of work out for the background. These lines were formed as each amount of water I was able to put on it, like dried immediately. So that's why these lines are here, but I've got these lines that I've drawn with the ink pens anyway, so it actually works out. Let's add a little shading with the colored pencil, watercolor pencil. I'll add a little water on top. Give these some dimension. There's this little pumpkin. Don't forget that little pumpkin in the back. I haven't even used this dang brush. How am I going to use it? Ugh, they don't write Happy Halloween with orange. <laughs> this is a tiny brush. I don't know. I'm not sure how to use it. Gotta use it though, or it won't be Art Snacks Challenge. using a pretty dry brush to smooth out wet areas. Gives me a really cool looking edge that I like. Let's first get it wet in order to spread out the color. And dry it off. Spread it around with the dry brush. Relatively dry, it's still damp, but because if you use a wet brush, it'll spread it out too much and it'll spread it out really evenly. Sometimes I want that effect right now, like I don't stuff like right now, I don't.
Maybe I should draw the beginnings of the faces on these other pumpkins. Good. I like it. That's what this kind of brush is good for. Oh, fine line type of stuff. Yeah, something's happening upstairs. Oops, I a blob of paint. It's gotta be nice and thin. Nice and thin, so nice and thin line. Oh, water. <laughs> Just gonna put eyes on these one in the background so it's like farther away, you can't see as much details.
Not sure what else. Maybe I'll go over these facial features of this pumpkin one more time. To bring the dark black lines back. I did not mean to rhyme just now, but I did. Always hear this laughter when I was doing this pumpkin. the pumpkin so it's darker. I have my little brush on it. These are good watercolor pencils, or at least this black one is. I really like this dry application of watercolor paint over the rest of this. I think it looks really good.
almost has a graffiti effect on this stuff. It doesn't really have that effect over here, but... out the texture of the paper. Woo, I've got a lot of paint in here. There, I think I got it. I think I finally got it out. This brush. Okay, what the heck? What else? What else can I do? pretty close to done which is a good thing since I'm over my streaming window Just spins right around. Whee! I am so lucky that I got these colors. I think they look really good. I think I'm done. I think this is good. I'm gonna sign it. There, little happy pumpkin. Alright, I'll go to a little bit more. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Happy Angry Pumpkin. Created mostly only with this month's art snacks. Ooh, I was so rough on this brush. It's already. Oh, what did I do with this brush? There, I did it. I bent it back. Don't get wrecked already. Brand new brush. So, that included. Not this paper, this is from previous art snacks box. Not this brush, which is also from a previous art snacks box. But everything else is from this month's box. So three different sizes of brush pen, all black. A black watercolor pencil, really big fat one. This little tiny brush. And this orange watercolor paint. So that's it for this month's art snacks challenge. I will do one next month. It'll probably also end up being Halloween themed because next month is October. So until next time, thank you for watching.